close your eyes and watch your breath coming in going out, and coming in again going out again. You want to stay right here, because the mind needs to rest, needs a home. It spends most of its time wandering around in thoughts of the past, thoughts of the future, sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations, all kinds of things, but it never has to find a place where it can really settle down. So bring it back here, bring it to the breath. And allow the breath to be comfortable. After all, your home has to be a comfortable place if you're going to be willing to stay there for a long time. So notice whether the long breathing feels good or short, fast or slow, heavy or light, deep or shallow. You can play with these things, experiment for a bit to see what you like. It's like decorating your house. You move the furniture around, try it for a couple days, see what that feels like. If you don't like that, then you can move the furniture around again. And then when you find a place you can settle down, okay, then you can be here. Give the mind a chance to rest and gather its strength, because the, of course the mind can't stay in its house all the time. It's going to have to go outside. So in dealing with things outside, you need to be strong, you need to be quick and intelligent, alert, because you're going to be dealing with all kinds of things out, outside. And if the mind is weighing itself down, then the least little thing coming in from outside is going to be way too much. But if you learn to give the mind a chance to rest, a chance to gather its strength, then whatever you deal with is not going to be overwhelming. It all de depends on how you treat your own mind. So treat it well. Give it a good place to stay. While you're in a home, you can read a little bit, think about the Dharma. But the important thing is that we have a chance to settle here. And when you're settled here, you actually when you go out, you know, the breath is still here. You can be with your breath wherever you go. That way you have a grounding wherever you go. The mind can have its strength. It has the strength of conviction that its actions really do matter. It doesn't just act on impulse. Impulse acting is not strong acting. It's just the first thing that comes to your mind just comes out your mouth or goes out through your hands or feet or whatever. And that's usually acting out of weakness. When you're acting out of strength, you realize, okay, when's the time, right time to say something, when's the not, right, not the right time to say? Because you really do have to be careful about your actions. That's what conviction is all about. And that brings persistence, that you stick with this principle and mindfulness. You always keep it in mind that your actions are really important. And so you want to be coming from strength. This way, the, the strength of concentration helps with your conviction, with your persistence, with your mindfulness, and with your discernment. All these things help one another. So mind can learn how to depend on itself. And this is when the mind does become its own refuge. Atta-hyata-no-nato. We hear about it, and you look, at, you look at yourself and you wonder, how can I depend on myself? Well, you develop these qualities. You strengthen the mind in these ways. That's how you become your own refuge. That's how you become your own mainstay.